Imagine a floating fortress, a symbol of national pride, a testament to India's naval prowess. That's the INS Vikrant for you. Born out of a strategic need for a homegrown solution, the dream of INS Vikrant took shape. A dream that was not just about a ship, but about asserting India's might on the global stage. In the drawing rooms of naval architects, a vision of an advanced aircraft carrier began to take form. A carrier designed with intricate details, tailored to meet the unique needs of the Indian Navy. A marvel of engineering, it boasted key features like a ski jump ramp, a rester gear and a sprawling hangar deck. Each detail, a testament to India's technological capabilities, each feature, a step towards self-reliance. This was the birth of a dream, a dream that would soon become a reality. The dream takes shape in the hallowed halls of Cochin Shipyard Limited. CSL, a titan of industry, becomes the cradle where the INS Vikrant is nurtured, from blueprint to behemoth. The process is no less than a Herculean task, a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of countless individuals. Imagine the awe-inspiring sight of steel plates, each one a colossus unto itself, being sculpted and shaped. The roar of the cutting machines, the sizzle of the welding torches and the rhythmic clanking of hammers become a symphony of creation. Each note a testament to the tireless spirit of the workers, engineers and craftsmen. Now let's delve into the challenges they faced. To forge a vessel of this magnitude is to dance on the edge of impossibility. The sheer scale of the task, the precision required, the relentless pursuit of perfection. These are not just hurdles to be overcome, but mountains to be scaled. But they are not mere workers, they are the dream weavers, the creators of this leviathan. Listen to their tales, stories of sweat and determination, of trials and tribulations, each one a saga of human resilience and ingenuity. Hear the pride in their voices as they recount the sleepless nights, the tireless days and the innumerable challenges they surmounted. One such story comes from Ravi, a veteran welder. He speaks of a particularly challenging section of the hull where the margin for error was less than the width of a human hair. The pressure was immense, he recalls. But when I finally completed the weld, the feeling was indescribable. I knew I was part of something monumental. These are not just anecdotes, but the living, breathing chapters of a larger narrative. Each worker, each engineer, each bolt tightened and each plate welded forms an integral part of this grand saga. Every bolt tightened, every plate welded brought us a step closer to the realization of a dream. A dream that was not just about building an aircraft carrier, but about crafting a symbol of national pride, a testament to India's indomitable spirit and a beacon of hope for the future. With its structure complete, it was time for the Vikrant to face the trials of the sea. This colossal entity, a maze of steel and technology, was now prepared to be tested under the most demanding conditions. From the heart of the shipyard, this titan was ready to be unleashed onto the vast expanse of the ocean, ready to face every wave, every gust of wind and every challenge thrown its way. Testing an aircraft carrier is no small feat, it requires a series of rigorous trials, each designed to push the ship to its limits and ensure its readiness for any situation. From the heart of the engine room to the tip of the radar mast, every component, every system is put under the microscope. The Vikrant was no exception. It was put through its paces, tested for speed, stability and endurance. But an aircraft carrier is more than just a ship, it's a floating airfield. So the Vikrant's flight deck was also put to the test. Simulations were carried out, with fighter jets taking off and landing, helicopters hovering and drones buzzing. The deck, designed to handle multiple aircraft simultaneously, proved its mettle, performing flawlessly under the intense scrutiny. And then there were the weapon systems. From anti-aircraft guns to missile launchers, they were all tested their precision and reliability meticulously checked. The Vikrant, now armed and operational, demonstrated its might, ready to protect its nation's shores. The crew, the beating heart of the Vikrant, also faced their trials. From pilots to engineers to chefs, everyone had a role to play in this monumental task. Their skills, their teamwork, their dedication were all put to the test, and they rose to the occasion, proving that they were as formidable as the ship they served. The trials were rigorous, demanding and exhaustive, but the Vikrant weathered them all. 
It stood tall and proud, proving itself worthy of the trust placed in it. It was more than just a ship. It was a testament to India's ingenuity, perseverance and indomitable spirit. The Vikrant stood tall, ready to serve its nation. The trials were over, but the real journey was just beginning. The Vikrant, a beacon of strength and resilience, was now ready to write its own history, ready to conquer the seas, ready to safeguard its nation. The day of reckoning arrived, the day when the Vikrant would officially join the Indian Navy. A day that would be etched in history, a day of national pride. The commissioning ceremony was a celebration, not just of a ship, but of the spirit of a nation that dared to dream and build. In the heart of the nation, the city of dreams, Mumbai, the ceremony took place. The air was charged with anticipation as the ship stood tall, ready to embark on its journey of safeguarding India's maritime interests. It was a sight to behold, a symbol of India's naval prowess, a testament to the dedication and hard work of thousands of people that brought it to life. The ceremony was graced by the presence of dignitaries from the Indian government and high-ranking officials from the Indian Navy. Speeches echoed the sentiments of a nation ready to usher in a new era of maritime dominance. The traditional bottle-breaking ceremony was performed, signifying good luck and safe travel for the ship and all who sailed in her. The INS Vikrant was officially commissioned, ready to rule the waves. The nation watched with bated breath as the Indian tricolor was hoisted on the ship, the national anthem playing in the background. It was a moment of collective pride, a moment when every Indian heart swelled with a sense of achievement. The joy and pride of the citizens were palpable. The streets were filled with the chatter of the Vikrant's magnificent journey. People from all walks of life celebrated this momentous occasion, their hearts filled with pride and admiration. The Vikrant was more than a ship, it was a symbol of India's indomitable spirit and capability. Navy officials were not just jubilant, but also relieved. Years of planning, design, construction and testing had culminated in this moment. The Vikrant was their brainchild, their dream, their pride, it was a testament to their relentless pursuit of excellence and their unwavering dedication to the nation's defense. The dream had been realized. The Vikrant was now the pride of a nation. Its journey had just begun, ready to write many more chapters of valor and glory in the annals of India's maritime history. ONS Vikrant, a symbol of India's naval might, now stands guard over our seas, a beacon of strength and resilience. It is more than just a marvel of engineering. It is a testament to the spirit of a nation that dares to dream big, to reach for the stars, and to protect what it holds dear. As we look to the horizon, the Vikrant, poised and ready, embarks on its journey. Its future role? To safeguard India's maritime interests, to serve as a deterrent to those who threaten peace, and to stand as a beacon of hope in times of disaster. Equipped with capabilities for fighter jet operations, maritime patrol missions, and disaster relief operations, the Vikrant is more than prepared to face whatever the future may bring. As the Vikrant sails into the future, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of a nation. Here's to the Vikrant, the floating fortress of India.